So the next pitch is from the Ivory Tower, the design of a biomaterials research laboratory by Colossal Mind Steam, Macquarie University. So the rules remain the same. You have five minutes. Once you've used up three minutes, Victor will show you a warning card. When your time is up, your microphone will be turned off. So Tim McCurry, are you ready? Yeah. Hello, everyone. We're so glad to Hold be on. here. Hold on. Are you ready? Yep. Start. Hello to you all. We're so glad to be here at the Simbayo Africa Conference. I'm Edgar Tamba from Macquarie University and Juko George William, representing a Colossal Minds team. Um, under the program by Medical Engineering at Macquarie University is where we have a biomaterial science course, which we actually got the idea from that we are going to present to you. And the next slide. So we have synthetic biology as something that has actually been said here all over. And you see that it involves bi biological parts, devices, and systems, redesigning natural biological systems. And you realize that all this requires biomaterials. Biomaterials actually play an integral role in designing such systems. Go on. So we have, under biomaterials, we actually have those that are natural and synthetic. Please go on. We have those that are natural that are, and synthetic. For example, wood. Uh, bones, ivory, and other natural biomaterials, and synthetic biomaterials like polymers, glass, metal, we all know about these things. And, so in Uganda today, we have a 2.8% plus of people due to accidents that are actually leaving people without, without limbs, without a anything, any part of the body, and these all need implants people are dying because they're missing out on implants. So we need biomaterials to actually design such things. Um, we have hip replacements, we have dental implants that actually can be done. And we actually need to embrace biomaterial science and actually do these things for our own in, in our Uganda. Please go on. Um, so you realize that we have a limit of designing these biomaterial implants. And why, why, is, why is this so? We are missing out on something. We need facilitation, we need infrastructure. So it's so on this way that we're actually proposing we come up collaboratively and develop a biomaterials lab here in Uganda, which is actually very possible. Just like the way you can see people come up with playstations and kids are going for them, I believe that us as researchers and students can actually embrace the idea of having a biomaterials lab and make it fun for us. Why would we need this biomaterials lab? I mean, it would stimulate the biomaterials science research and other, other related activities like educational outreaches. It would, it would actually boost the entrepreneurship here in Uganda. I mean, people will come up with their projects and need to use our lab. So to embrace synthetic biology, you actually need these facilities in our Uganda. And I think you can take on to explain how this lab will be. Yeah, good evening to you all. This research lab will contain many sections as you can see there, we need a cytocompatibility evaluation laboratory. We need tissue compatibility evaluation laboratory, hemocompatibility, sterility, histopathology, accelerated aging, and package validation. Our lab, in order not to make it too big, since we are in Africa, and many nations cannot afford such equipment, which will be used in such labs, we decided to put only three sections. We shall put the sterility, Physi physiochemical accelerated aging and compatibility sections. And that's the design of our lab. Uh, there you can be able to see all the sections that we'll be having in our lab. What can we do then? We can collaborate with, C we can collaborate with the Ministry of Health and other partners to enable us to come up with this lab because we really need these biomaterials since they are essential in, in improving our lives as Africans. A uh, special thanks to Mr. Brian Matovu, who has, who has been influential in this research. 
and Sandra Martini, who enabled us, through whom we went through, we went through her, and we are able to get this opportunity, and all the Simbayo Africa team that enabled us to be here. Thank you. Thank you very much, Tim McCarley. You're also able to keep time. You had 41 seconds left on your clock. I must say we are having quite a number of brilliant ideas. Mm -hmm.